All right, here we go again. Um, here is my game where I had white. This time I played pawn d3. Seems ridiculous. Last time I played pawn d4. But um, this is actually a serious opening and a way to get into the uh, king's uh, Indian attack. So first of all, one thing you have to notice, I'm going to put my bishop. What's going on g2? All right, um, pretty standard uh, developing move, just castle, get this King's Indian attack formation. Okay, so I thought that he should play e5. That would be giving him a huge center and maybe a more aggressive way to play this game. Uh, he goes for kind of like a French defense um, structure. I think it's what we transpose into is a French uh, here, some sort of a French. Okay, knight bd2, um, the point is to go e4, e5, very straightforward. Bishop e7, there it is, e4. Question is, you can take, but ends up playing a slow move, rook b8, which I'm assuming is just to play b5, which does follow that pawn pointing theory if you've ever heard of it from. Uh, Jeremy Silman, and the side of the boards where your, your pawns are pointing. All right, there it is, e5 hitting the knight. There's a French maneuver. We got two uh, pieces hitting the e5 pawn. It's only defended how many times? Uh, once. So how does white defend it a second time? Rook e1. All right, there he goes, b5. He's um, really playing on the queen side now. Okay, so I play c3, and the idea is to play d4 and try to discourage this move here, or maybe I'll just be in the position where I can kind of ignore it, recapture with the pawn. Does play it. Queen b6 is a very French like move. Um, okay, this may seem really slow what I'm doing, but it's a good uh, maneuver, and we're just maneuvering it over to the king side. Um, I think Fisher would sometimes play h4 and we try to get his knight over here. It's also another way you could get the knight to this square. So that's kind of the slow approach to uh, this opening for white. And f1. Okay, I was surprised to see this. I thought his whole point uh, was to play here and undermine this pawn. But instead, he gives up this uh, great d4 square, which I'm happy to take. Now, which side of the board should I be playing on? It's like a nice little arrow to tell you which side of the board to play on. King side. You're playing on the king side. So there he goes. He gets it in. I'm going to ignore what's happening over here. And I'm going to just keep playing on the king side. So h4 is an aggressive move. And it, um, it's going to be a nice outpost for the knight to jump to. Takes recapture. Here, I think you should have played h6. This would actually mess with my idea to get my knight on g5, and that's kind of what you want to do when you're playing chess. It's stop your opponent's idea. I guess he was worried I would play h5, so he played it himself. But now, what is his rook having to defend? And it's going to delay um, castling, right? So the queen's going to be lined up. Oops. The queen is going to be putting pressure on that h5 pawn. So I think this is where he starts to go kind of wrong on g5. It's a good move, attacking base of the pawn chain. Uh, I thought about just doing this. That's a good way to protect it, usually. Um, instead, I played a queen f3 move. <laughs> All right, so what's white's threat? Should be pretty obvious. Put in a nothing move, white to move and win. Well, it does start off with queen f7, check. King over, can you find checkmate in one? I hope you can. And it takes e6, it's checkmate in one. We're controlling the square with our queen. Join the square with our knight. Excellent peace coordination, queen and knight. Of course, he's not going to let me checkmate him so easily. He plays. He, he's so worried about the knight, he just gives it up. Take the bishop, not the pawn. 
Alpha piece, this bishop's pointing um, into his king side. So now I was a little bit worried and concerned he was going to win this, this p2 pawn. It's attacked two times. And it's only defended one time. So, you know, now my idea of um, getting the knight to this square isn't really going to happen anytime soon. He's boxing out my knight, all the potential squares it can go to. So I set up a little trap by playing knight d2. And after I played this move, I was a little worried he might sacrifice here. Uh, it's going to be an exchange sacrifice here. But something told me this isn't really going to work for him all that well. Um, he's down the exchange, but what has he got for it? He's got a passed pawn, which he can try to promote. But I got plenty of ways to blockade it. So I kind of talked myself out of that and realized that this wasn't a serious threat. Um, but what the computer is, is recommending is all these moves that defend the C4 pawn. Right? All these moves defend the C4 pawn. C4 is weak, and he gets greedy here and plays rook takes a2. Yes, he's won a pawn, but white to move and win in all variations. It's just a knockout move here. So this was the star move of the game. Um, found knight takes c4. And you might say, wait a second here. He's hitting my rook twice. It's only defended once. Well, if he takes it, think about our checkmate we had. Think about what we had. Can we take the queen? It's tempting. Knight check. We're not, we're not going to take that queen. That would be too nice. So he's in check. Can he go over here to uh, d8? No, no, he cannot. He'd be breaking the rules of chess. We got our bishop gunning in. So this is a big, big attack. The queen takes f7. It's a forced checkmate. So no time to uh, take the rook here, even though he's threatening. Rook takes rook. Again, check. It's too slow. White's attack comes too quick. So now he actually goes all in and sacrifices here. And I'm thinking, okay, let's take with a pawn. What's the point behind this? What's White's threat? We take the queen. No, the threat is check. And get our checkmate where, where we keep the threats alive. And that's important when you're attacking here. Don't lose a tempo. So take. He takes. Now I suppose you could just come in here and check. But this was looking a little, a little crazy for me to calculate. So I, I ended up just uh, playing knight takes knight. Again, threat is f7, right? So he's got to guard it. All right, what's his, not, his rook not uh, defending anymore? But we've got to be careful because he's still hitting our rook twice. So what do we do? My best was to trade off material here, which makes so much sense when I look at this game now. But I wanted to uh, make sure I could uh, get his queen. So I hit the queen, he takes, I take, he takes, check, I block the bishop. No, I don't. You can complicate things by piling up on the pin piece. So. Instead, I just move my king over. He's really floundering here. Uh, the game's pretty much over at this point, but he plays on a little longer. F6, trying to get counterplay. I can just take with check and it's over. Um, I guess I wanted to torture him or something. I don't know what I was thinking here, but I guess I just won my bishop on this diagonal. Okay, he's threatening my knight. And now I get greedy. Yes, it's defended, right? It's defended by the bit. You can take the, the pawn. Pick your favorite way to win again. Okay, bishop got to where it wants to. Okay, it seems pretty obvious. We should take the pawn now. 
and um, right to move and win. Move, uh, it was a 29 here, and um, black resign, so it was white play. Keep in mind how strong the bishop and knight are actually. Even though the knight is only on the seventh rank, usually it's on the sixth rank where it's really strong. But yeah, he resigned at queen check. Um, okay, well, if you block, I'll take it. Defended by the bishop here. See mate in one. Hopefully you do. Look for mate in one. Give us knight and bishop. The only square we need to control is c7. And there we go. We've controlled c7. Queen is defended by the knight. All these squares are covered. So I can checkmate. If he simply moves his king, it's actually just checkmate in one. So same story. All right, well, um, having kind of fun, you know, showing some of these games in this format. Um, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.